I just woke up and I'm back again with another vlog. A lot of people have been asking for one and honestly I've just been kind of busy but I think I'm getting back into the groove of things so in this video I'm going to be taking you around my day as usual but I'm also going to be talking about how I study for midterms because a lot of people wanted to know how I do that with all of these different classes studying for midterms could seem really difficult as the other classes continue and midterms don't always line up which can make it stressful as you try to balance certain classes certain projects things you have to do and midterms so in this video I'm going to let you know how I efficiently study for midterms so yeah, I think today's going to be a really busy day, so yeah, let's get right into it. So it's another gloomy day in Boston. I'm heading across the bridge as usual. I'm heading to my first class, which is Principles of Autonomy and Decision Making. Right now, we're learning a lot of cool stuff, but the material is getting pretty challenging. So I'm gonna try to go to lecture, focus, take a lot of notes. So hopefully I can finish the assignment that I have to do for that class tonight. Usually when I study for midterms, I follow this three-step process of mine. I'm going to go through the different levels of that process throughout this video, so make sure you stay for the entire video so that you get the entire picture. So the first step in the process is to look over any lecture slides, notes, and videos. This step is really easy if you take consistent notes at every single lecture, but even for me, that's not the case. So in those instances where I don't have enough material or if I didn't take good notes during some lectures, I try to fill in any gaps with some lecture videos or some videos online just to make sure that content-wise, I'm up to date. And then as I'm going through the materials, I try to keep note of the concepts that I think are particularly challenging. And then that information will help me prepare for the next step in my studying. Right now in Boston, we're in this weird in-between phase where I'm wearing shorts, but it's going to rain later, so I have to wear a raincoat. Yeah, and like, I still really prefer LA weather, but right now I just gotta get used to it. As I mentioned before, I just got out of 16410, which is Principles of Autonomy and Decision Making. Today was actually a pretty cool lecture. We navigated the different conditional statements and how we interpret those, whether that's not A and B, A and B, A or B, just different combinations of those. And we looked at different proofs on why those are the case and why those equal other statements. So it was pretty cool, but I do have to look that over later. Right now, I would have linear algebra, which is 1806. But we, since we have a midterm on Friday and since I have other readings to do, I'm just going to do those readings for now and I'll catch up on the lectures later. So right now I got to go head to eat and that's where I'm going to go now, Dunkin' Donuts, get some sandwiches. <laughs> So yeah, knowing the material and reading over the material is great, but that won't fully prepare you for the midterm because you haven't seen any problems that put that material into practice. So for my next step, I go through any practice problems I have. I look through old problem sets and look at the solutions to those problem sets so that I can remember how you go through certain processes and then that will prepare me for the exam because then I'll remember the types of questions that the professor could possibly ask. The more practice problems you do, the better prepared you will be for the exam, I think. So finding more practice problems could really be beneficial. And this gets me into Chegg, which is a proud sponsor of this channel that I really enjoy using because it helps students across the world just better prepare themselves for school. Say you run out of problems to practice on, then now you can go into your textbook and those questions that they ask it's fine being able to do those questions, but then not being able to have the solution. You don't even know if you did the question right or if you followed the right solution path. But with Chegg Study, I can go look up that specific problem and they'll give me step-by-step -step solutions. So I'll be able to actually know for sure whether I did it right. Or if I didn't know how to do that specific problem in the first place, it'll give me the step-by-step -step solutions on how to do it to begin with. 
I also personally use Chegg Math a lot because for some of the problems they require some basic or not so basic matrix multiplication, but then I can just put it right into Chegg Math, put in my two matrices, and then it'll just show me the answer or verify that the calculations that I do by hand are correct. And then again, that just gives me peace of mind that I'm doing the processes correctly. And at the end of the day, that'll better prepare me for the exam. So yeah, go check out Czech Study, Czech Math, and the other cool Czech products using the description down below. You won't be disappointed. So I ended up just doing some work and eating in the stud, no one really came, but it was a good time to relax. I watched some Peter McKinnon, listened to some music, caught up with Johan. Hi! Um, I was doing the same thing, I was doing some electronic work and then talking with friends. Because you know, when you can catch them, you should, and see how they're doing. Yeah, so now we're heading to 1441, which is public finance and policy, and yeah, it should be an interesting lecture. We're gonna go in there right now. So if you're watching this video, you're probably stressed about an exam or you have been in the past. And to that, I'm going to say that don't treat this exam like any different than any other one you've taken. You've taken exams where you felt unprepared. You've taken some where you felt like you didn't know the material at all, but you got through it. And this won't be any different than that. If you study with the open mind that you possibly will do well, that positivity might just help you in succeeding in the exam. And even if you don't do as well as you may have thought you would have done, this one exam will not define how smart you are. This one exam won't get you into a certain school or get you out of a certain school. Just look forward and try to make up for it in future exams. So I just got out of 1441 and it was actually a really cool class because we got to learn about like Medicare policies and how healthcare reforms get passed. It's really cool because our professor himself worked with directly with presidents like President Obama and President Clinton. And then he's also worked with governors like Mitt Romney and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So he can really just give us his first-hand accounts. Right now I would have a class, but that class got canceled because my professor was sick. And yeah, so I'm gonna go do some work and Sebastian wants to go lift later because as you know, I really try to stay active and I really try to stay healthy because that takes my stress away from school. Time to run it off. I wake up, flex on down that check, no drip this wet, tell him run it up, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might crack, but first die stretch, tell him run it up. I wake up, flex on down that check, no drip this wet, tell him run it up, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might crack, but first die stretch. Now that the tan roll through my hands, I'm by my lonely Turn to a savage, now my baby wants to hold me I love my family So we just had a good workout uh, It's always nice getting a quick pump in it makes me feel good, it makes me ready for the rest of the day I think right now we're heading back to shower yeah. Yeah. And then we're gonna head back to the chemi department to do some work Yeah, should be a good night Yeah, it should be a good night So the last step for studying for midterms that I do is look over practice exams. I admit that a lot of professors don't even provide them, but the ones that do, this has been a great last step to just make sure that I know those certain concepts that will be in exams because those were on previous exams or they're on the practice exam. And you can see the exact types of problems that they'll try to give. See right now is a prime example for how terrible Boston weather is. It's about seven o'clock right now and it's around 70 degrees, so I can't, it's too hot to wear a jacket, but then it's also raining, which doesn't really make sense. It also means it's about to be humid later on and in my bedroom, so yeah, life at Boston.
so when I went downstairs, I saw that I got a new package and I know exactly what this is. So I'm pretty excited. Let me open it for you right now. I'm actually pretty excited to check these out. I use a lot of wireless earbuds. So I'm curious how they stack up against those. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see a review on these. And I'm gonna try them on right now when I'm studying. So yeah, I'm gonna have dinner right now. I'm gonna eat really quick and I'm gonna go head back to campus where Sebastian is and do some work. So we all just got done studying and doing work at the student center. Uh, the, our assignment was due at midnight and right now it's 12.15. We ended up just turning everything in within 10 minutes of the due date. Uh, right now we're heading to pick up Johan and then head back to the house where we're probably going to do work for another hour or two just because I've been typically sleeping at around 2 still gives me 6 hours of sleep. So that's where we're going. So when we got back, we ended up just chilling with Jonathan and just talking for a little bit. And I did end up reading some lecture notes, but I'm just going to sleep. We both got pretty tired. And it's at those moments where we just sleep if we're tired because we found out that if we just keep working and we're tired, you're just not going to even retain any information or you're just not going to be thinking straight. So. Uh, we usually just sleep whether it's just six seven or hopefully eight hours We just try to get that sleep so that we can be productive again tomorrow I don't have any classes so tomorrow should be a more productive day as for this channel I've gotten back into the groove of posting consistently so expect a lot of really cool videos a lot of videos that um, a lot of you have been requesting for a long time. The best way to keep up to date with me is to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as I'm trying to update those as often as possible and make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell clicked to stay up to date on the latest videos on this channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.